or should I be allocating that time to getting us to Mars? Uh, I should probably do the latter. <laughs> so, you know, like what's more important, Mars or a house? I like Mars. Is that really how you think? Like that it'd be better off planning on a trip to Mars or getting people to Mars? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the, you can only do so many things. Right. Right. So how are you going to? Well, I don't know how you do what you do anyway. I don't. I don't understand how you can run bo the boring company, Tesla, SpaceX, all these different things you're doing constantly. I just. I don't understand. I mean, you explained last time you were here how you sort of allocate your time and and, and how hectic it is and insane. I still don't. The the productivity is uh, baffling. It just doesn't make sense how you can get so much done. Well, I think I do have high productivity, but even with that, there's still some opportunity cost of time. And allocating time to building a house, even if it was a really great house, it still is not a good use of time relative to developing the rockets necessary to get us to Mars and helping solve sustainable energy. Uh, SpaceX and Tesla are by far, you know, my, the, the most amount of, like, brain cycles. Um, you know, boring company does not take you know it's like less than one percent of brain cycles, and um, and then there's Neuralink, which is I don't know maybe it's like five percent, and then five percent. That's yeah, that's a good chunk. It's a good chunk. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that last time, and you were trying to figure out when it was actually going to go live, when it's actually going to be available. 